I am a survivor of an extremely rare skin disease who had me burning from inside out. I am resilient as I looked at death in the eyes and told her my time had not come yet. I am here to take action and be a part of something greater than myself. It is time for me to make a difference in the world around me. I am here to give hope and use my story to inspire people around me, one strike at a time. I am Louis Shakes, and I am 10 for 10, as I'm going to rollerblade from Los Angeles to New York City in order to raise awareness and funds for research for the Steven Johnson Syndrome and Toxic Epidermal Necrolysis. But I have one question for you. Are you with me? Are you 10 for 10? Was the doctor telling me I wasn't gonna live? Or was the hockey coach telling me I wasn't good enough to be on a team and I was just a good kid? Bonjour. Donc, euh, l'hospitalisation de Louis, quand il avait 6 ans, a été euh, un drame dans la famille. Car euh, quand on l'a amené à l'hôpital, on ne savait pas du tout ce qu'était la maladie de l'aïeul. Et euh, donc, on s'est très vite intéressé à ce que ça pouvait euh, être et puis surtout les conséquences. Et rapidement, on a vu que notre fils risquait sa vie. Et de le voir comme ça dans un lit euh, souffrant avec euh, toutes ses seins électriques, euh, tous ses tuyaux, eh ben, ça nous a euh, complètement bouleversés. Et je pense que c'est quelque chose qui a transformé la vie de la famille et euh, surtout qui a transformé la vie de, de Louis. Et... Ouais, et, pardon. et puis s'entendre dire euh, arriver, euh, arriver en réanimation que finalement sa vie était euh, en danger parce que les brûlures qu'on voyait à l'extérieur c'était euh, à l'identique euh, à l'intérieur et euh, que sa radio pulmonaire euh, s'aggravait beaucoup et lui allait euh, survivre à tout ça. Euh, c'était vraiment... Euh, on vivait au jour le jour et chaque jour quand on allait le voir il était davantage brûlé davantage abîmé. Euh, on était, voilà, il fallait euh, avancer euh, un pas euh, par un pas, tout doucement. Et, euh, voilà, mais il avait en lui une force euh, incroyable. The disease I had is called toxic epidermal necrolysis. It's also known as Steven Johnson syndrome, which is a lower branch of the disease. Um, it destroys your skin cells, so I was burned to the third degree on 80% of my body. I felt guilty living the life that I live every day. The fact that I was able to chase my dreams and travel the world for hockey. Um, I think it was time for me to get involved and do something about it and really give hope and inspire others. All this hard work for ever since last summer with fighting through COVID and all the restrictions it's put on us. We've been fortunate to play all season, to train and all this hard work, all the sacrifices, all this adversity we had to face it, to now be able to, to bring it to this time of year and hopefully have all our hard work pay off. It's just, it's, it's surreal, it's exciting, especially with these guys. I mean, what we work for every day and that's why I wake up every day and that's the first thing on my mind so it's it's hard to, to put words again on on that that feeling and that energy that's building up but yeah it's go time I'm maybe. sure it's, it's, it's go time. I'm sure to really see all that coming to picture and it's going from where you were and then seeing it all come to life that's got to be a surreal experience it's it's a great feeling you know when you put your heart and soul into something and now you get to the point where it can and will pay off. Mm -hmm. It's 
you get to showcase what you've worked up so hard for your whole life. With, with guys that, you know, that do the same thing. That would do the same thing. So die for you too. It's, you know, it's, it's a privilege. Definitely really lucky to be a part of this and trying to make the most out of every day, whether it's on the ice or the ice.